Hello everyone, welcome back to The Amateur Baker and welcome to day five of Baker Day in February. Today we're going to be making jam tarts at the request of my best friend Philly because to be honest it was quite difficult to come up with 28 ideas and I did ask for help. You can make your own jam but personally I think that takes way too long and I think I've tried it before and it, it didn't really go very well. I think you've got to be very patient with jam making and I just don't have a lot of patience. But we are going to make the pastry from scratch. I'm following um, BBC Good Foods recipe, printed it out from the internet. It seems easy enough, let's get going. First thing you want to do is preheat the oven to 200 degrees Celsius. So that's going on in the kitchen. And then it says, put the flour, butter and a pinch of salt in a bowl and rub them together with your fingertips. So I have here 125 grams of butter, chilled and diced. And then in here I have 250 grams of plain flour. Rub them together in your fingertips. It also says on the recipe, or you can pulse these ingredients together in a food process. Food processor if you have one but I do not so I'm going to be doing it the old-fashioned way okay so it says to go until it looks like looks and feels like fresh breadcrumbs which I feel like I've got to there's still quite a few big lumps but I think that's where it's just clumped together because as soon as I try to pick them up they just fall apart so I think that's all right and then it says stir in the egg and vanilla seeds if using I don't have vanilla seeds I was thinking about doing vanilla essence but I think it might mess up the mixture so I'm not going to chance it but we'll do the egg that's combining quite well and it says to add one tablespoon of cold water which I think I've left in the kitchen. Add that in as well. And then it says start to bring the dough together with your hands. It's all combined. It says not to knead it too much and I feel like I'm now doing that. Okay, it says when it's come together to wrap it in cling film and chill in the fridge for 30 minutes. So I'm going to lay out some cling film. Tip it out. No, I'm not. Does it work out? Get the excess off the bottom. Press that in. Wrapped quite poorly, but wrapped. And chill in the fridge for 30 minutes. So I will see you in 30 minutes when I get it back out the fridge. I am back. It has been half an hour. I'll be completely honest with you. I washed up all of the pots and then I sat down on the sofa and now I'm ready for a nap. But we're going to power through. We're going to carry on. I've got the dough in front of me. I've just taken it out of the fridge. It's nice and chilled. So what it says afterwards, butter a 12 hole tart tin. I don't have a tart tin. Basically they look like muffin tins but they're just a bit shallower. The only thing I do have is a muffin tray so I've greased it rather badly not gonna lie and I also don't have a round cutter so I'm gonna use the top of a kilner jar um, and it looks like it's about the about the size of the hole so hopefully it should give me enough lip of the dough to work with it says to do about the thickness of a one pound coin how thick is a one pound coin couple of centimetres, a centimetre. From what I can vaguely remember from food tech lessons, I'm pretty sure we did jam tarts. And it was a very sh like thin pastry. I think we might go with that. Fits perfectly. So I'm just going to pop these ones in. I'm actually going to use black currant jam because I don't like strawberry jam. I actually hate it. I think it's far too sweet and I'm not a massive fan of jam in general. So I've gone for black currant because I prefer black 
currants to strawberries anyway. And we're just going to spoon in one to two teaspoons. going to do now is get the rest of the pastry and I'm going to use this little round cutter I think it's meant to be like a snowflake and I'm going to cut out tops for them the recipe does actually say because it's a valentine's jam tart recipe it does say to cut out pastry hearts but I'm just going to do a topping anyway okay so they are all filled and they all have a topping on them I'm going to pop them in the oven it says for 15 to 18 minutes 18 not 80, 18, um, until they are golden brown and the jam is slightly bubbling. So I'm going to go pop them in and I'll see you in 15 minutes. It has been many hours since I last filmed anything because I sat down and I was like, I need a break. So I made a cup of tea and I sat and watched a bit of Friends. I let everything cool down properly and here we are. The jam tarts actually turned out relatively well apart from the fact that I maybe scooped a little bit too much jam into them and they over spilled a little bit. I'm actually very impressed with it. The jam has gone very sticky which you know is um, expected because it is just basically sugar but I love these little bits on the top they look really cute. I don't know if I want to try one. Do I want to try one? I will try one because I did blackcurrant jam in an attempt to see if I would like jam tarts. I've tried a bit of the pastry and the pastry does taste nice. I'm just not a fan of jam, so I'm gonna try one. Why not? What have I got to lose? I'm gonna go for this one, the one that has maybe the least amount of jam in it. Slightly nervous. I really like that. Blackcurrant jam is actually really nice. Mm. I even went in for a second bite. That pastry is delicious. That jam is delicious. They have worked really well. I know jam tarts aren't exactly like the most challenging thing to make, but when you don't like jam, you know, I'm very impressed with the fact that these have turned out really nice and I actually like them. I will put the link to the um, recipe that I used in the description if you wanted to make them. I mean, it works with any kind of jam or lemon curd. It does say you can put that in as well, but I just went for the one kind of jam. But I think it would look really cute if you had like a platter of jam tarts and they were just like all different colours and all different flavours. I think that would look really cute, but... I didn't want to put that much effort in today. So, there we go. Thank you for watching. Like the video if you liked it and subscribe to my channel for more videos. Um, check out the playlist if there's any videos that you may have missed. I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.